Good morning, beautiful people. So I am up really early because I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Um, I am starting my workout journey back to my abs because I have been slacking since I've been out of the military. I ain't gonna lie, I have been slacking. I have not been working out the way I'm supposed to. So today um, I'm starting back with my uncle. Um, I'm going to his facility so I can start working out with him. And he has like group classes and he also has individual classes. So I'm gonna be doing a group classes and then working out with him one-on-one -on -one as well because um, I am noticing that I'm starting to gain a little weight in my midsection. It's not tremendously bad, but I know my body and I know that I was always like really slim and really lean. And now I'm starting to like gain weight and because I'm getting older, my metabolism is slowing down and I'm not working out the way I'm supposed to. And I'm eating way too many corn dogs and Caesar salads and caramel frappes and chicken nuggets and hot Cheetos and cheese and all that other shit and I'm not working out. So um, I noticed it really, I honestly like really noticed how bad it was getting when I was in Miami, um, especially with me drinking the whole weekend. Um, I was, I was, you know, seeing my little liquor belly and I was just like, mm -mm. and, and, and Jayla's vlog is really, really noticeable. So I was just like, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to take pride in myself and get back to how I used to be not slack off anymore. And I'm going to nip it in the bud right now. So just so you can see, this is my abs right now. I had the definition, but it's still a little, you know, I'm starting to like lose definition basically. I don't have a lot of fat, but still, like I want it to be more defined. Like I have the lines here. Um, so I, I know that I have the potential to get it back, but um, I'm losing definition. So I gotta get this back. So it's time for Operation Snapback. Stay tuned. people so I have made it to Lakewood Elite Sports Center um, we have my uncle Kevin here I don't know if you guys remember him <laughs> yes I'm back feeling good I done lost a little bit of weight you did you look good shape, you know, um, trying to be more of a role model to my friends and clients yes and me yeah. <laughs> well my family yes sir. Yeah. we have Megan here I done dragged her <laughs> Operation, Operation Snapback. We gonna see you. You know I'm covering the way this new growth is set up. You can't. <laughs> I fell out. I fell out. I threw up. I was cramping. That is what I get for thinking that I could just be a boss and eat whatever I want and not work out and thinking that I could just go in there today and be top notch. No stretching, no nothing. I almost died. I threw up, I almost threw up a lung. I couldn't breathe. I was cramping. I was on the ground. Embarrassing. I'm out here embarrassing my uncle. Megan did good though. Oh, so now I'm about to eat now. Um, and then I'm going to try this again on Thursday. I'm really going to stretch tonight. I'm going to stretch tomorrow. Tomorrow I think I'm going to go run um, like two miles. And just try to get myself back into the habit of working out. Um, my uncle, he did evaluate me. He said that, you know, my arms are toned, my legs are toned, back are toned, back is toned. Um, I have definition in my stomach, but it can be a little bit more sharp, um, a little bit more defined. 
um, I just need to get rid of some of my body fat percentage um, so that means that I'm gonna have to drop a few pounds which I don't want to but I'm gonna put on weight by gaining muscle so today was an epic fail <laughs> Mm. but <laughs> today was an epic fail for me and uh, I'm gonna try this again I ain't no quitter but I, my arms hurt Lord, I'm gonna be in pain tonight ah! Jesus be with me good morning guys so I am getting ready to uh, start my day I'm getting ready to go to the gym and take some boxing um, lessons I've always wanted to box ever since um, I was little I always found it really interesting um, and I used to fight a lot growing up like in high middle school and high school um, which I'm not bragging about because fighting is not something that women should be doing but I've always wanted to learn how to fight strategically like to just to like maneuver and to move and basically like the thought process of boxing so um that's what i'm gonna do today and i'm actually doing this to tone up as well it's um a way for me to get out and get in shape a little bit more increase my stamina and whatnot so that's what i'm doing so i'm getting ready to boil me some eggs to get my protein um and eat that for breakfast um and have some water and then i'm gonna head to the gym so i'm gonna take you guys along with me stay tuned all right so i have the water boiling i'm going to boil me four eggs oops i don't mean to drop it like that and it's 902 in the morning so i'm gonna let these boil for a while and then i'm gonna eat that for breakfast with an orange so this is my breakfast, four boiled eggs, uh, I have an apple as a snack, and a smart water that I'm going to drink to its entirety today. I may have like two or three of these because I need more water if I want to lose inches and body fat like in my stomach area. So yeah. Right, so I'm getting ready to get my boxing on here at 10 Goose Boxing. Good, now pick up. Very good. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. You're gonna give me 25 of those. car after a day at the boxing ring boxing gym um, I'm about to go to the pro boxing supply store now um, Ricky is sending me to get some stuff um, I would definitely say it was a workout he pushed me really hard today um, but I'm glad because between boxing and between working out with my uncle I'm gonna get back in shape really fast so um, yeah I would definitely say though my arms <laughs> and my thighs are killing me the uh squat system that he has going on by picking up cds and putting cds down and picking them up and putting them down that shit is a beast man but um yeah so 
I made it to the box and supply store, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, we're at the uh, pro, the pro boxing supply store. So let's see. Hi, I need to pick up a jump rope, some hand wraps, and the bag, some bag boxing gloves. How many bags do you have? Am I following you? Oh. I'm just doc documenting my journey. These are your Okay. Better. Oh, this one is better? What? Okay. A little bit thicker. Okay. And in terms of length, if you need to adjust it, just pop this top right off and tie a knot in it. Oh, okay. And if it also pops out, just open it up, tie a knot, and you're good to go again. Okay. Um, that one's a little thicker. So, like, what? What's the difference between yeah. thicker jump ropes? It lasts a little bit longer, and it gives you a little bit more weight, weight. so you get like better faster. I have the thinner one, like this. Yeah, I would probably prefer the thinner one than the thick one. I would probably prefer the thick one. Is, is that the pink one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that the only one you have? That one? Is that the only one? No, I have this one, and then we have Reyes, which are more. You have what? Reyes. Reyes. Yeah, these. The ones I practiced with today seemed a little bit, like, thicker. All right, so I have my jump rope, my wraps, two different types of wraps, and my boxing gloves, so I'm official. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to um, grill me some chicken breast. And this is my first time using the George Farming Grill, so I'm gonna test this out. I don't even know what this is. It's like the drip tray, but the drip tray doesn't even attach to anything. Like, I was looking at the bottom to see if you could screw it on, but you can't. So I think it just sits on the counter and allows you to, I don't know, um, let it drip and then you can just take it out and dump it I don't know <laughs> we'll figure it out if I break it Trev don't be mad <laughs> okay so I'm using the George Farming grill and it looks pretty juicy looks pretty good I'm impressed I'm impressed I feel like I'm doing something the only thing I was I was like worried about was if I needed to grease the George Foreman grill and everyone on Twitter was telling me no. I took a little bit of olive oil on a napkin anyway and like kind of wiped down the uh, bottom bottom layer. So yeah. <laughs> Travis going to kick my behind if I mess up his grill. All right, people. Good morning. So I'm here at my uncle's facility getting ready to get my workout on. Uh, I'm going to try this again. I feel a little sore. Um, I am going to push through today. I'm not going to quit per usual. <laughs> <clears throat> Megan just arrived. So we're going to go get this in. So stay tuned. Where's Asia? Right there. Oh. And Asia. 
Asia. Go ahead and say hi to my camera. To YouTube. How old are you? Six. You're six. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> They're getting so big. I'm getting old. I don't know how, but it's been a long time since you've seen them. Yeah. She was a baby. I, I've uh -huh. never seen her. Shut I up. swear. No, she hasn't. I haven't seen Asia. This I is my first time. Like shame on us. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's all I know. I got shame on you. Yeah, last time I saw Milani in person was when she was at least like two. No, I, no, I, yeah, no, I'm no, telling you. No, yes. I've, I've been gone eight years. Okay, maybe. Right. Yeah, and this is my Aunt Jen. You got <laughs> Beach body, you? yes. Beach body. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay guys, so I had to take some time and do a quick chit chat um, because I'm here at the grocery store and um, I was like checking my Facebook and I'm in this group where it's a lot of like veterans and military people, um, but it's all women and people share different stories. We like talk about different topics and whatnot. And one of the topics, well, somebody posted today that, you know, she was confused because um, she didn't know whether or not to stay with her husband um, and take you know his daughter out of out of his life because he has been like abusive to her but he really doesn't remember whenever he's doing these things so it kind of sounds like a case of like psychosis um like schizophrenia almost delusional in a sense um some type of mental disorder and you know he pulled a knife on her um he hit her things like that so it kind of prompts me to speak to you guys about physical and mental abuse and how important it is to remove yourself from the situation like I've never been um, in an abusive situation I've never been in an abusive relationship where um, a guy has physically hit me because first off that's a no-no I'm gonna fight until my ass can't fight no more um, and then my daddy gonna come <laughs> and my both of my daddy's gonna come but no all jokes aside um, it's not even a laughing matter but I've never been in a physical uh, abusive relationship, but I've been in a relationship where I felt like I felt like I was mentally abused. Um, and there is a difference, but it's still abuse. Um, mental abuse is when someone will make you feel low, will mentally try to break you down, will tell you you are like the lowest piece of shit on earth will make you feel bad about yourself about your appearance about your friends about your family they'll seclude you and isolate you from your family um they just make you hate life they will make you rely on them make you feel like they are your only turning point turn to person and it, it's all a mental thing it's like reverse psychology in a sense because they want you to cater to them in a sense they want you to be just head over heels for them they want you to be just like just drowning in the midst of them if that makes any sense with physical abuse i would definitely say that there are far too many women, too many people. Men are being physically abused as well. Um, too many people are being physically abused in this world. And too many deaths are happening because of that. Kids are being hurt because of that. Kids are growing up very unstable because of that. So I would definitely say that if you find yourself in a relationship where you are constantly fighting you're constantly arguing you know your partner is mentally breaking you down whether it's a man or a female because it can go both ways you really need to remove yourself from the situation and you really need to focus on the mission at hand which is yourself which is your child or children um, if you have any because although you may really love that person you have to love your life a little bit more a lot more to be exact because you never know when one little thing can escalate you know it, it can go from just arguing bickering here and there to a full-blown i'm in your face arguing to someone pushing the other person down to accidentally pushing you so hard to where you're hitting your head on a corner of the coffee table or the corner of the fireplace or something like that and that could be an accidental death or it can be an intentional death where they're physically beating you until you're black and blue in the face you can't breathe you lose oxygen you're not you know functioning right and you die or they stab you or they shoot you you just really have to get yourself in a mental capacity to where you can honestly think about 
and realize how much of a value, how much value your life has, how much you are worth living, how much you are worth living happy. And if you're not happy in a situation, then you should leave. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done. I talked about um, knowing when to let go, a uh, 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 relationship topic on my beauty channel. If you haven't watched that, I'll put it down in the description box. But when your partner is no longer feeding your spirit, it's time to let go. Especially if you are in a in, an abusive relationship. Like, no one should have to go through that. You should tell someone. I know a lot of times you may be scared to actually reach out to people and tell them what's going on. But if you're anything like me, I'm telling some damn body. I'm going to fight until I can't fight no more, god damn it, while you sleeping, I'm gonna have to hem you up real quick and then get my ass out the house and I'm telling somebody. But not all people are that bold. You know, some people are very timid. Some people feel like they have to walk on eggshells around their partner. They never know what kind of day their partner is going to have. And I just want to say that is not a life that anyone should live. Your partner should bring out the best in you. Your partner should uplift you, encourage you, make you feel as if though every day is worth waking up and living. You guys should be living life together, um, be an asset to one another, be a team. You don't, you don't fight with each other when you really and truly love one another, you really and truly are invested. Love is not being hit on, love is not being mentally broken down. So after reading, um, the Facebook post that this um, woman made, it just really, it really touched me because I'm like, dang, I wonder how many people are going through that. And I'm wondering how many people my age or even younger um, are going through that. One second. Hey guys, so I'm here with my family, La Familia, I have my Uncle Kevin and Aunt Jen and Milani and Miss Asia over here. She told me that my salad was not a salad because it was just lettuce. <laughs> you guys know I like Caesar salad, so. Um, and then, yeah, so I don't know if you guys remember, but he's my um, uncle that has the training facility, so he's getting me all toned up Looking and stuff. Looking good, feeling good. Yep. Everybody's healthy. So we're gonna end up doing a, a like a boot camp that I'm gonna invite y'all out to. I have to like plan it with them and stuff, so we're gonna get those beach bodies for 2016. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, the trolley's coming. Oh yeah, you can stay on this side. All right, beautiful people. So my family has left. I'm getting ready to walk uh, to Nike so I can get me some more workout gear and hats and look at their athletic uh, trainers, like the shoes. So, and then I'm probably gonna hit up Nordstrom um, because I'm on the hunt for a certain products <laughs> that I'll have to reveal. So yeah, so, and then I'll probably hit up Nordstrom after. Um, I'm looking for some Dior highlighter. I love my curly hair. Mm -hmm. This is a different unit that I, I uh, than the one I had on in Miami. Workout stuff. I really like the like this color here. These I like loud color like workout shoes. These harachis are everything. Okay guys, so I am about to meal prep. Um, it's pretty late, it's almost 10 o'clock, but I need to get it done. Um, right now I'm boiling me some eggs for breakfast. I'm getting ready to cook some salmon, some shrimp, um, some chicken breast, and some vegetables, just so I can kind of meal prep for the next couple of days. So stay tuned.
Okay, so I'm done meal prepping. It is now uh, 15 minutes until midnight. So I'm gonna go shower and then get in bed because I have to be up at 7 a.m. to get my workout on. So.